Greetings, YouTube. It is Brother Man Trucking. This is a continuation of the Direct Shipper, I guess, series. It's not really a series, but we're going to continue on. So I talked about some of the things, the unseen things that happen behind the scenes of why you may not be able to get a Direct Shipper. You know, you're not a part of the quote unquote good old boy club whatever that situation is you're not a part of it so we explored that i gave you a couple different things that happened behind the scenes um so this video is the positive side of finding direct shippers um we'll just call this well, well you ever hear the term low-hanging fruit so let's say you have a tree um an apple tree a, to, a, a tomato tree uh, or a tomato plant, uh, a peach tree, pear tree, whatever, whatever, or berry bushes, you know, and there's fruit on that particular tree or vine or whatever. So you don't have to really do anything. All you have to do is it's just hanging right there. All you have to do is just go pluck and take it away. So there's sometimes where all you have to do is just show up. It's the right time, it's the right place, and they need trucks. So this happened to me twice. I would like to say this happens every time, but it does not. This is few and far between. So this happened twice. So the one time I uh, took a broker load, and now I mentioned this in one of the videos before, I don't remember which one it was, I took a broker load, which was picking up not too far from me. It was picking up at a job site. Um, it was railroad equipment, railroad, uh, I think it was tracks at the time. And so I go to the, the job site, I get loaded, and I take it back to the facility where it was going, you know, the destination. So I go there, I go in the, the office, excuse me, you know, tell the lady I'm delivering. She comes out, uh, sees what's going on, checks the load and stuff. She's like, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, what do you mean? Well, we got some more loads coming up here. You know, but I don't remember exactly how the, informa how the, how the conversation went. So she's like, uh, would you be able to help us out? I was like, uh, you mean going you know, with you direct? She said, yeah. Oh, I said, well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, depending on if the price is right, I mean, that, that'll work. So we negotiated the price and, you know, I picked up a couple more loads for him. Now, just because you have a direct shipper, that does not mean that every load is going to be a home run in the terms of pay. It was just a bread and butter. It was nothing to get excited about. Yeah, that's a direct shipper. Um, yeah, we cut out the middleman. Um, but it was nothing to get excited about. I mean, yeah, it was work. And in order to really make any money, you had to do two loads, which you had tolls involved. If you didn't take the toll road, uh, then you were sitting in traffic all day, a bunch of idle time. What do you mean idle time? Stop and go <laughs> idle time. So, you know, but it was a direct shipper. So you can put that in the tool belt in the tool belt. So there's that time. Another time this happened last week two weeks ago take a broker load so i go to the facility to get loaded so i walk in the office now i pulled out of this place a couple times uh so i go into the, the office to get the you know the check-in and the guy in the office he's like hey man where you been uh just here and there he's like well you need to be here oh what do you mean yeah, we can we can probably use you. You know how far do you go and stuff like that. Um, well, this I gave him. You know the 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 area that I run. You know the region, the radius that I run. And he's like, uh, oh, you don't go all over. I say, no, I don't go all over. He's like, well, you know, we don't have freight every day going to the area where you run, but you know, I can take your information down and I can give you a call and get, you know, maybe get you set up and stuff like that. You know, once we have something that we, you know, within that, that radius, I said, okay, that'll work. He said, um, 
So I said, well, what about the carrier pack and all that stuff? I said, because I tried to find this stuff online and I tried to reach out to people. It's like, they got that stuff like under lock and key. You can't find it. He's like, yeah, I know. So they know what they're doing. Some, I think some places just they don't want to work with the, you know, one truck ponies, you know, quote unquote, one truck ponies, uh, single truck operation or small carrier or something like that. Whatever. I get it. Um, so that's another potential direct shipper. Uh, he hasn't called me yet that I know of. Uh, if he did, he never left a message. Uh, and I haven't seen any loads picking up from there going to uh, the areas where I run. And I don't run far. You know, I run, basically it's an out and back type type thing um, right now. So as long as there's freight like that to where I can do that, and that's the way we're going to keep it. So, uh, so those are the two positive things, you know, when, you know, direct freight, sometimes all you need to do is just show up now. Well, what about the broker brother, man? Don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, or don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing and vice versa. So that is that. And then there was, a, what was the, another situation? I think that was it. And here's something else. Speaking about low-hanging fruit, I already gave you plenty of information on how to find freight delivering to the big box stores because that stuff is sourced locally. That's low-hanging fruit. You know, it's like for flatbed. Uh, oh, another. I found another direct shipper this week, this past week. Uh, is a place I called... Uh, I hauled out of before through a couple of different brokers. I actually go through my old um, BOLs and I look at the different shippers. Like, okay, I remember this place. Uh, I didn't really like that place. Uh, this place, this place was okay. You know, uh, they actually played. The broker had a decent rate paying on there. So we'll go ahead and contact these people and see what they say. So I called the one broker. I actually put the text message up of the conversation I'm having with the logistics guy over there, and he's. He's apologizing to me because right now he doesn't have any that type of freight. It's not really, it's not the season for it. I'll say it like that. Um, but they ship on flatbed trailers. They can use dump trucks. They can use dump trailers, well, end dumps and pneumatic trailers. So uh, maybe opportunity there at some point. Um, that's all for this one. See ya.